Hello, it's 4K Senpai here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make bows, arrows, and fire arrows. So first off, we need to go into the skill menu, which is under skills. You need to have the points available, and you need to be under survivalism. So under survivalism, there's two things we're going to need to take. One is the basics. That'll just give you a bunch of basic tools, a bunch of basic clothing. It's not really relevant to what we're making, but it is what it unlocks. Now, under that, you want to get construction, which opens up another tab, which you see right beside survivalism. It says construction and merchantism. So under that, there we need to take handyman, which will give us a few items. It takes one skill point. And then chemicals and tanning, which will take two skill points. Under that, it will give us organic paste and fire gel from unlocking that. We need both of those things for making fire arrows. And to reference the points you need from the first one, uh, the basics you need one, construction you need two. Also, you need from survivalism, you need tools of the trade, which is one skill point. And then down one more, you need eight skill. No, sorry, not. You need uh, three skill points for archery. When you unlock archery, it will open up another tab with a bow, archery, and throwing weapons. Under that, you need basics of the bow, which costs one skill point. It give you a bow and stone arrows. And then secrets of the bow, which will cost eight skill points. And it will give you access to the flame arrow and zipline anchor. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and show you about creating them. So a bow is really simple. It just takes hide, fiber, wood. I can go ahead and create one right now. Plain and simple. Arrows are very simple as well. They just cost fiber, flint, and thatch. Let me go ahead and just create five of those now. Now, when you want to make flame arrows, it's more complicated, though. You have to go to a mortal and pedestal. And then um, the you will have these options now. If we did not spec into the skill points right here, we wouldn't have had their mortar and pedestal, and we wouldn't have had the flame and organic paste, fire gel and organic paste, which is both of the ones we need for fire arrows. So go into mortar and pedestal. I need to put my stone arrows there, and the reason I made the stone arrows is because stone arrows are needed as well as fire gel together to make fire arrows. So organic paste, it takes fiber, and it takes sap, which sap is sugar. There's a couple ways to get it. I'm not going to ref show it in this video, but I'm going to have another video up soon showing examples of sugar and how to get it. Um, so I have some organic paste made already. Fire gel requires flint and organic paste. So I have some fire gel already, so I'm not going to go ahead and craft any. Under weapons, because you'll see there's a tab on here that we only get this tab if we actually went into the arrows that suspected into the fire arrow crafting. Now, I go into weapons, ammo, and you'll see the five stone arrows that we created and put in the board and pedestal into fire gels. So I'm going to go ahead and create five flame arrows. And there we go. The, the only other thing to remember at flame arrows, if you get too close to the target that you're putting on fire, they can ignite you on fire.